Hello and welcome back to Apt for You. In this particular video, I will be discussing a new problem from greedy algorithms. And it is a really very basic problem, but still for the sake of completion, we will cover it. So the problem says that we have to basically maximize the summation of array of i into i means the element into its corresponding index. So array of i is the element into i is the position of the element. So you have to basically arrange your array such that this particular quantity can be maximized. So hence we can see that we have to maximize this particular sum, right? So how can we do it? So let us understand the question first again. So given an array A of n integers, our task is to write a program to basically find the maximum value of this summation. Summation of array of i into i, where i is nothing but the index and it starts with 0 till number of elements in the array, right? Minus 1. Obvious. It is obvious, right? So you are allowed to rearrange the elements of the array. So basically we can rearrange the elements of the array. So there is no constraint which says that you cannot rearrange the array. So basically we are free to rearrange the array in order to achieve this particular objective. And the objective is maximizing this particular array sum. Array of i into i, this quantity should be maximized. Now they have also said that uh, since the output could be large, so basically we have to, you know, do modulus 10 power 9 plus 7 and then print the answer. That's fine, we will do it, no problem. So let us first of all uh, build the logic and it's really very simple. I hope you have understood by now what we have to do. So basically you can see that suppose I have a number, uh, an array 5, 3, 2, 4, 1, right? So if this is my array and if I just print their index, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? So at this position, what is the value of summation of a of i into i? So at this in instant, the value of summation of a of i into i, okay, this is square bracket. Is nothing but 5 into 0 which is 0 plus 3 1 is 3 plus 2 2 is 4 plus 4 3 is 12 plus 4. You can see the value is nothing but 3 plus 4 7 plus 12 19 plus 4 23. Can you still have a better approach to this particular uh, answer? So let us suppose another arrangement. Suppose I have rearranged it in this order. Uh, 5 4 3 2 1. Suppose I am arranging it in this order. And now if I basically try to find out their summation of a i into i, then what will I get? 5, 4, 5 0 is a 0 plus 4 1 is a 4 plus 3 2 is a 6 plus 2 3 is a 6 plus 4 1 is a 4, right? So basically you got what? Uh, 4 plus 6 10 plus 6 16 plus 4 20. The value is 20 and you can see that we are basically reducing it, right? So initially I got 23 and now I am getting 20 but this is not what I want. I want the maximum sum. What is the issue? The issue is, now you see, just focus on the two elements that we are multiplying. We are uh, multiplying the element a of i with i. So here I am multiplying 5 with 0. What if I multiplied 5 with 4? Don't you think that would be a good option? Right? 5 and 4. So two big numbers are multiplying with each other and hence the quantity will be large. So suppose I place 5 here. 5 with 4, right? And you will multiply this 4 and suppose and I exchange their position anyway. Now suppose you are multiplying 4 with 1 but you would like to multiply 4 with 3, isn't it? Bigger number with bigger number. So why not multiply 4 with 3? Let's keep it 2 here. And uh, let 3 be multiplied with 2, 2 with multiplied 1, 1 with multiplied with 0. Means a smaller number multiplied with smaller index, larger number multiplied with larger index. This will make sure that the summation, final summation will be maximum. So what will be the summation in this case? You can find out the summation in this case will be 1 0 is a 0 plus 2 1 is a 2 plus 3 2 is a 6 plus 4 3 is a 12 plus 5 4 is a 20. 20 plus 12 32 and plus 8 is 38, right? 32 plus 8, 40, right? Sorry, 40. So 6 plus 2, 8 plus 12, 20 plus 20, 40. You can see that there is a drastic increase in the sum. So it indicates that if we arrange our array in ascending order, that is the point to be noted. If we arrange our array in ascending order, where the higher number will be present at the last index. So basically, the combinations will be such that it will yield to a maximum product, right? In contrary with this, because here you can see if you are arranging it in descending order, suppose 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, there is no use, right? Because you are multiplying a higher number 5 with 0 and it got wasted. 4 with 1, you could have multiplied 4 with 4, right? So, arranging in descending order is not a good choice. What should be the option? Arrange in ascending order. That's it. 
arrange in ascending order and then find the product. So I hope you got the point. So what we are going to do is once we have received an element, we are going to sort them by saying uh, sort sorry sort array comma array plus n the array will be sorted. Now I'll be declaring a variable integer i and sum also equal to zero. Remember the sum can be maximum as they have said, so I'm just saying long long sum. Right? And let us uh, okay now what we are going to do is for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus we know that the array has been sorted so sum plus equal to what so we are basically saying a of i into i isn't it this will this is what is going to happen fine the entire sum will be stored and now we have to basically return the value of sum but remember we have to do modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 isn't it so they have strictly mentioned here that you have to perform modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 so for getting this what we should do is we should declare a variable here so I'll be declaring a variable again long type long long suppose uh, well equal to pow 10 comma 9 plus 7 okay so I declared this uh, big number here okay sorry this is bracket closed here yeah. fine so I declared a uh, 10 power 9 plus 7 and stored it in well and now whenever I'm going to return the sum I'll not just directly return the sum before that I'll be just performing a modulo operation right so I'll be just saying sum modulo the well which is stored right yeah we should return this so that's it so let us now quickly compile and run so if you just uh, observe this particular problem right so sort that is a okay not arr because the array we have received is a all right so anymore okay so you can see that this is how we can solve this particular problem it is very simple and basic but uh, just for the sake of completion we have covered this right so that's all from this particular video i hope this video was helpful in case of any doubt please feel free to put doubt in the comment section and just like share and subscribe thank you